Hello, welcome back. Now in this video, we're going to be having a close look at this Panasonic HC V770 1080p camcorder. These camcorders were introduced by Panasonic back in 2015, so they've been out for quite some time. Um, they came in the 1080p version we've got here, and also the higher 4K version, the model 870 and the model 970. Now, out of the box and into the hand, I must say that the camcorder looks quite plain, to be honest. It looks very uh, workmanlike, not as jazzy as some of the other sort of camcorders that you see nowadays. Under this rather dull exterior, does hide some very advanced features and this camcorder is aimed towards the more creative people that also would like to have some form of manual control and manual inputs. The camera features a very sharp three inch touchscreen which helps you negotiate through all of the menus and options and there are quite a few on this camera. It also rotates around 180 degrees for sort of self portraits and uh, vlogs, things like that. Now, before I get too deep into this review, I have to confess that I'm going to review this camera more for its creative possibilities than just your kind of run of the mill camcorder that you might want to take on holiday. And the reason is that when you look at it compared to, say, a normal standard sort of camcorder, you notice that it is rather large and bulky. It's certainly uh, perhaps not going to fit into a coat pocket as well as a smaller camcorder that you'd like to take on holiday. And you're going to be paying quite heftily for these manual additions, such as the manual focus wheel here below the lens, which is quite useful for using a camera in low light conditions. Also, maybe the most important feature here is the microphone input. Now, this is just quite rare in camcorders in general, especially at this price level. You normally have to go a couple of hundred quid above it. Finally, another feature that you don't find on most camcorders is a headphone socket so you can monitor your live recording. Now, that's not to say, of course, you can't use it for general recording. I mean, I shot this clip out of my garden today. It was a very dull, overcast day. Only in 1080p, of course, this is not the 4K model. But yeah, it's absolutely fine. You know, it's certainly good enough to use for your holiday sort of videos if that's what you want to do. But it is the manual features and the manual inputs that uh, make this sort of camera quite special. And that's what I'll be focusing on in this uh, video well, review. Let's have a quick look at the specs on this camera. Yeah, it's a bit boring, but it is quite important when you're spending your hard-earned money on a new camera. So first up is the two modes you're able to record your footage. Now it'll do standard MP4 for downloading and editing on a computer, but it also record in AVCHD, which is the format used by most high definition televisions. The camera uses both SDHC and SD. XC standard size memory cards and that's up to a maximum of 64 gigabytes. And one good point that's worth noting is the memory card insertion point is underneath the camera but set well to the back so which means you can swap memory cards whilst you have the camera mounted on a tripod. There is a maximum 50 times zoom lens but just note that only 20 times is optical and the other 30 is digital. There are two sizes of battery that you can use with this camera and a bit of a bugbear here to me is they always provide you with the smaller size and uh, the camera is pretty much dead after about 40 minutes recording so you're probably going to need a second battery or maybe upgrade to the larger size but be aware the original Panasonic batteries aren't particularly cheap. Like most other camcorders on the market, the camera can take still pictures, in this case up to 24 million pixels. But perhaps more useful is that you can use the button on the top of the camera just to snap a picture whilst you're videoing. Although it is worth noting the resolution is almost halved down to 12.6 million. Outside the fully automatic mode, most of the camera's advanced settings and effects are buried deep inside the menu system. And it's in these uh, menus that the camera becomes more interesting. And there's a variety of quick touch buttons that allow you to use the camera's more creative options. But the one that I'm interested in mostly is the manual settings. And it's here that you can get more creative to help improve your videos. One of the most important features 
is the manual focus wheel. Now quite often on an autofocus camera, if you're videoing in low light or close up to a subject, you'll find that the autofocus tends to hunt and drift in and out of focus, totally ruining your video. Once into manual focus, well the camera still is willing to help you. There's a couple of things quite useful. One is a zoom feature on the uh, viewfinder, but something else I found particularly useful is a kind of a blue screening around the image which helps you achieve the optimum focus. I have to say it works really really well you simply line the camera up adjust the manual focus wheel and then you get this blue kind of ghost image appear and when that happens you know you're in perfect focus and of course it doesn't come out on the video itself those filmmakers out there that want to take a step further with the uh, creativity there is manual exposure and manual shutter controls towards the front and the top of the camera is a built-in 5.1 surround microphone and in the menu system that you can manually adjust all the different options. Now I did try some of these to be honest and a little bit uh, hit and miss. I think myself I'd leave it in auto or maybe just mono. And that leads us on to what I think is the most important feature of the camera and probably the main reason I bought it and that is an external microphone input. If you make self-narration videos, certainly outside, then an external mic really does improve the audio quality of your voice and it knocks out the background noise. Let me demonstrate. So this is a audio test using the camera's built-in 5.1 surround sound microphone. And what you can probably hear is it will pick up some background ambient noises as well as my voice. So I'm now going to plug in the external microphone and uh, we can hear the difference. So here we are using the external microphone. You'll notice the sound is more focused on my voice and uh, less background noise. And that's why having an external microphone is, is really so important if you're going to be doing vlogs and uh, sort of self-documentary YouTube videos. Uh, you'll find it so much more rewarding to listen to than hearing all of the ambient noise surrounding the camera. Another really useful feature on this camcorder is a built-in headphone socket and that's not something you normally see at this price level and that is really useful if you're filming out and about you can monitor your audio live as you're doing it and you can correct any mistakes on the fly. And finally a feature that I haven't tested myself but the camera has built-in Wi-Fi so you can connect it to a router or connect it directly to your mobile phone. This means while filming you don't have to touch or disturb your camera at all. You can use your mobile phone as an intuitive remote control. And moving on for that, a feature that might be useful to some is you can use the camera as a high definition baby monitor and just view the images over your phone. And then taking it one step further, you can even use the camera as a home cam and broadcast it via your router live over the internet so you can monitor things at home while you're away. Now I can't say that I've tested any of that, it doesn't really interest me, but one thing that does interest me, and I will be looking into this to do it in the future, is you can connect your mobile phone as a second sub camera and you can have a picture in picture whilst you're recording live. Unfortunately it does all save on one video clip so you can't sort of split them up or edit them, but that's still quite a useful feature that I will be exploring in, in a later video. I'm not going to make this video really long by including lots of video clips from this uh, camcorder. Just take it from me, that it may only be 1080p, but the video it produces is pin sharp and it handles dark to light transitions and things like that really, really well. But one thing I'm going to show you is that quite recently I made a video on, review on a Beats Peel Plus and I used that 5.1 surround microphone built on the top of the camera and I just left it in auto and let the camera get on with it and I was pretty darn impressed actually with the quality of sound that it produced and I shouldn't really say this but if you took this camera to say a live concert you could make a pretty decent bootleg copy. Anyway have a listen to this see what you think. <laughs> Focus is very good 
for consistency and low light, the autofocus shouldn't be dismissed either because it's pretty quick and pretty snappy. And I also found a lens has a really good automatic macro feature. I was able to focus down almost to one centimeter. And yeah, there was a little bit of softness around the perimeter of the lens, but this is a zoom lens, of course. This is not a dedicated macro lens. So whilst I was doing this clip, I thought it was a chance to try the picture in video using the button on the top of the camera. So this is a 12.6 million pixel picture, half the resolution that you would normally get if you were using it as a dedicated stills camera, but it's not bad at all. And as I zoom in here, you can see it's pretty sharp. I was quite pleased with this. Now, as well as plugging in an external microphone, into that mic socket, you can use it as a line in. Now normally this would overload a camera because a microphone socket has a built-in amplifier, but because this camera has a built-in manual mic gain, you can turn it right down and you, you can get the level just right. And there's even a couple of simulated VU meters in the display to help you. This is a really useful feature if you're a budding musician, for example, maybe you've got a keyboard uh, and a microphone, or if you use a cheap mixing desk like this 808 one I have here, you can balance the sound and then put it straight into the camera and record it that way. So with its manual exposure, manual aperture, manual focus, the microphone line in socket and the headphone out socket, the Panasonic V770 is quite a versatile camera and there's some good news as well because it appears that the prices are in the free fall. This camera has dropped at least £30 from the purchase price I paid at Christmas and it appears to be going even lower as everything now moves up to 4K. As I said at the beginning of this video, if you're just looking for a quality 1080p camcorder, maybe something to take on your holidays, well, this camera really doesn't make any sense because you can get that so much cheaper and also in a smaller form factor. Only if you've got use for the creativity and all of the other manual adjustments that this camera offers that things start to look a little bit clearer. You want to record in 4K? Yeah, sure, just look further up the range of the Panasonic cameras, move into the 900 models, and that's offered as well. Of course, there is quite a substantial hike in price, and your computer rendering time will also increase. Now, if you're tempted by one of these 770s, I would say maybe snap one up now while you still can. Remember this camera came out in 2015 and I can't see it going on for much longer. So keep an eye on those prices and when they drop the that final time, maybe that's the best time to buy. I will be making a second video on this camera. I want to look at the Wi-Fi option where you can use your mobile phone as a sub camera and that will be coming up at some time in the future. But as for now, I would say cheers. Thank you very much for watching. Please subscribe if you like this kind of thing. Please give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed the video. And as always, take care and I'll catch you all on the next one.